Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to From the Desk. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I have signature sheets here. And I'll give it that. The signature sheets for my next uh, Thunderstorm books release. Everything is horrible now. I'm going to get into them and we're going to sign them. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the, mo the more boring aspects of this gig and the repetitive nature of the stuff that we do. So, um, when it, one of the things that I highly recommend if you ever reach the point where you are signing things for people, whether it be book signings or whether it be uh, signature sheets like this right here, that you go ahead and sit down and you write your own name, your signature, over and over and over and over again. Um, with these, uh, the the actual copy copy number I do not fill in myself that's a tip in for the uh, I think it's a tip in I'm not sure um, but that is for the actual publisher to do so again oh make sure your pins writing okay let's see here I'm gonna go over that one okay now, not all of these will get used. I actually think the publisher goes through and picks out the best. There is definitely more than the 44 copies that it says. So, also, you gotta you gotta save room for error. That's another thing. If you're doing this, if you're doing the indie publishing side of things and you're selling your own signed copies, you always want to make sure that you order probably you know maybe five percent more than you actually need uh this is the math is probably wrong here but let's say if you're going to get 25 maybe get two or three extra copies that's what i would suggest so for every 25 i would say get an extra two copies but going back to signing your name over and over and over again the last thing you want to do especially for a public appearance is to get is to screw up somebody's uh book that they paid for because if you're not a jerk, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to replace that. And that can get expensive if you're sitting there having to buy, you know, copies of books over and over and over again. So, and then sometimes you're going to, uh, you sign them before they even buy them. So that would come out of your pocket the more that you screw up. And I've, I've screwed up signatures several times, um, especially with me using the different pin names, uh, I've signed other names, signed to the wrong thing, but I've gotten so, uh, some people like my signature, some people hate my signature, uh, and what I mean by that is I got, I've heard from authors, they wish that they had, uh, they had chosen an easier way to sign their name, and of course there really is no turning back once you decide on something, and mine, in case I haven't shown you yet, I'm not sure if I showed you or not, probably not. That's literally how I do mine. I got the E and then kind of squiggly Lorne there at the end. But, uh, and I've also had some people go, <laughs> well, you're, uh, it's never the same twice. I like that, but of course it does, not that I have to worry about, you know, people forging my signature right now, but, um, let's say it's easy to forge because it's just a scribble and no two are the same. I assure you, I can look at my signature and tell... Uh, which one's which. But it varying so much from signature to signature is one of the things that helps uh, one of the things that helps make it so hard to, to, to replicate. But I know how I how I sign things and I know where I put certain things. So could somebody crack it? Sure, of course they could. But anywho. Um, another thing I wanted to bring up while we're doing this very odd from the desk is the repetition of the process you think that having to read the same thing over and over and over again to edit is bad this this signature deal especially when you don't have the people to talk to at like a book signing this can get really 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 old um, luckily there's only 44 copies I'm not sure exactly how many um, they printed out though uh, probably anywhere from 50 to 60 but like right now I have shell oh and the air conditioning luckily I have shell here to turn off the air conditioning say hi shell 
Hello, hello. Yeah, I got her here to keep me company, but usually this is this is a one one well it it still is a one man job. Um but I had to have her come out here and figure out this whole setup right here. Hello, other camera. But usually it's just sitting here signing your name over and over and over again. You guys tired of hearing me say over and over and over again? That's kind of the point here. So but yeah. I like the like the artwork. Yeah. I like the artwork. It plays into the it plays into the book really well too. But you know, I've never had um, g talking about the numbers real quick. I've never signed anything that was a limited edition where the publisher actually wanted me to to fill in the uh, the copy number. So, but uh, if, if you any of you get a copy of this uh, book, I would love to hear from you. See if I can actually find one of the ones that. I have signed, show a couple of them, keep on showing them, maybe I can find the one, maybe you can find yours, who knows, not too many people, not too many readers watch this series, I know it's mostly um, the, the aspiring authors and the, the authors who have published before, what do you call them, I guess the vets, the veterans of the writing gig. I'm almost done, but uh, this is usually a really, really boring process. I have, this is a lot more fun doing it this way. So, and finally, we got the very last one. I also suggest putting down, I don't know if you guys saw, but I put down the plastic sheet, the, the plastic they were wrapped in. I put that down underneath here so I wouldn't mess them up. Um, I usually don't go through and straighten these all that much uh what i end up doing is just kind of you see what i'm doing i'm very gently you don't want to get any tears or rips or anything like that well i gotta i gotta put this in a new envelope um but you want to make sure you don't get the artwork dirty you want to make sure that you're as clean as possible your hands are washed um you want to make sure your pen writes so you don't have any you know debacles anything like that but that's everything this is a rather short video for, for from the desk but i wanted to give you guys a little insight and i also wanted to uh time how long it took me to do this process look like with all the talking i did we're right at eight minutes right now so uh i'm thinking it took about six minutes to do over 44 signatures um anyways fun times so until next time i have been e you've been you this has been another from the desk i'll talk to you guys later bye bye